I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. Today, I'm here to show you how to use ping, which is short for part image is not ghost, to back up your computer and to restore it. In this example, I'm going to simply back up my C drive, which is about eight gigs of stuff, onto my D drive so that if something goes wrong, I get a virus or whatever, I can just nuke my entire C partition and restore it back from the image that I've created. So as you can see from Windows, we're gonna have to restart or shut down. I'm gonna choose to restart. Now the first technique that I'm gonna use is by changing my BIOS to boot from the CD before I do anything. You can see that it says press delete to enter setup. And so here I'm going to go in my BIOS. Just about everybody's computer has a different kind of BIOS. Generally, it's gonna be something that says boot device priority. So you would wanna press enter on that. And you can see that I've got it set up to boot from the hard disk first but you kind of want it to be set up to boot from the CD-ROM first. Again, you should know that uh, by changing your BIOS settings, you can make your computer into a veritable doorstop. So please be very cautious and aware of that before you do anything. You can see at the bottom of the screen, it says press F10 to save and exit. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit because um, I'm gonna show you the other technique here. And from my computer, uh, my setup also says press F8 to enter the boot menu. So I've pressed F8 and now it's uh, pulling up my boot menu. And as you can see, I've got an old HP CD recorder as well as a light on DVD recorder. I'm going to boot off the light on and up pops the ping image here. It's actually booting up a, uh, a cut down version of Linux, which is an entirely different operating system. But Ping is also able to back up Windows, NTFS, FAT32, and all different sorts of partitions. Now from this screen here, um, you have the opportunity to um, go to a shell or just go on with the interface. I'm gonna make it real simple. I press enter to go on with the Ping interface. And on this screen, it's just a little notice to tell you what the computer does. Just press enter. Um, I like to reboot the system, get it going back up again uh, from Windows. If you know anything about how to run the, uh, the uh, ping shell, then you can use the ping shell if you want to. I currently don't know anything about it yet, so um, I'm just gonna have it reboot the computer as soon as uh, it, uh, it finishes the backup. From here you can choose to backup or restore uh, to a network share which would be another computer that's hosting your images or in this case I'm just going to do it on a local disk partition. Of course uh, I'm going to show you how to do a restoration in a little bit but for now we're going to um, select the Windows partition, which is the first one, that's typically the case. You'll see it as SDA1 or HDA1. Um, you'll see config, uh, MSI, documents. Um, those are all folders that are in my C drive. So just be aware it's not, to, it just doesn't have a label on it and it's just going by what the folders are named. So you press space to select the SDA1 drive or the HDA OneDrive, just know that if you don't press space, it won't select anything. So then you press enter to check the OK box. And I'm gonna select my D drive, which is labeled backup. Here you don't have to press space. You just select which one you want and hit enter. You should have a dedicated folder for your uh, ping images, but to keep this tutorial simple, just press backslash and it'll put the, it'll create a new folder in the root directory of whichever uh, local hard disk you're going to be using. Mind you, you cannot back up your C drive 
onto your C drive. Whatever partition you're backing up, you have to back it up onto some other local drive. Here you have the opportunity to blank the local admin password if you've forgotten your password. Um, here we're just here to create a new image. We're gonna call the image C underscore 2009 dash 03 dash 31 because that's the date A. This is typically not needed, um, but for NTFS it's not even handled. So. Uh, most people with Windows XP are using NTFS. Just check no. Gzip is pretty fast. I can back up this 8 gig partition in very little time using Gzip, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm just going to save it in part image, which is fine. Uh, most file systems can be reduced before restoring. I'm just going to use no. And here it gets started here, so you can see it's probably going to take between 10 and 15 minutes to back up this uh, this partition. I want you to see how this thing works. And now through the magic of television, we're going to fast forward. Zoom, 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 zoom. You can see that it's finished backing up the computer. It's gonna reboot. Now the next step is I'm gonna show you how to restore the image. In the same way that we booted off the CD, we're gonna do it again. Once again, I'm going to select my light on drive to load up ping. Now to demonstrate the confidence that I actually have that ping will actually restore my computer back to its original status, I'm going to actually go ahead and do a full restore right here before your very eyes. Use the very computer that I'm using to edit this video. Once again, we go through the whole boot process to load up ping. Press enter to enter the ping interface again. Press OK, have it reboot the system. We're going to restore the image from a local disk. And we want to press space to select choose this if you want a restoration. So we are going to select where the images are stored, which is the backup folder that I selected earlier. And of course I stored it in the root directory. And you can see here that I've got an, another uh, image stored from earlier today. And then this is the one that we just stored, the 2009-03-31A. So I'm going to select that. BIOS settings have been recorded. Can you believe that? It recorded all your BIOS settings to make sure that your uh, BIOS can be backed up as well. Do you want them to be restored? Yes. This is the last warning. Now, just so you know, Ping has the ability to destroy your hard drive. You need to know that. It has the ability to nuke your entire operating system and make it completely not work. However, I have complete confidence in it because I've used it before. So you just press space to go through this. Again, you get to the end here and it says, please type yes and enter. And you have to type it in just the way it says, all caps, and press enter to go on with the restoration process. And it is going through the process of getting itself ready to restore it and here we go as you can see the uh, estimated time remaining is going to increase for a little bit while it uh, tries to get a valid read on how much data is actually there if you exit in the middle of this your c drive is going to be toast so i'm not going to exit because i'll never see my c drive again if i actually um, exit so i'm going to let you watch this entire thing restore my hard drive and as this is coming to a close here and finishing up the restoration process, you can see it goes uh, back to the shell and it tells you it's going to reboot. Here I'm just going to reboot Windows and I will show you that Windows is completely intact and is uh, running just the way we left it when we shut it down the first time. Presto Magic, we're up and running. I'm Bryce Tomlinson from aheart2witness.com. Please make sure that you stop by my website. You'll see it in the links uh, for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my videos and be free to comment.